And I'm here today with uh, Marilyn Caps of the Special Olympics and Davis Love, one of our local residents and our favorites. Go Davis. Uh, but today what we want to talk about is the Davis Loves Foundation and Special Olympics and how together they've made such a difference in children's lives. Marilyn, tell us, what's your what's your most favorite thing about what you've done in conjunction with the Davis Love Foundation? Um, I think the, the putt challenge where they get to interact with um, pros, pro golfers, and they get to be a part of that and then they come out into the community and the community is aware of the Special Olympics. Um, as far as the foundation itself, it's helped uh, provide transportation to our local games and state games. It's provided um, uniforms mm -hmm. and um, lo lodging and food for them as well when we travel. Yeah, and, and especially awareness too. The Davis Love Foundation's done a lot in conjunction with McGladry. Special Olympics was one of their favorite charities when we brought them on as a sponsor and we've really been able to grow that program and, uh, and also really help out our community through the foundation and through the golf tournament. Well we appreciate your efforts so much. You do so much good not only for Special Olympics yes. but for other charities as well so thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Mary. Who's gonna go next? Out of way, a two. Leader in the clubhouse. Putter. Thank you. Putter. Thank you, Mr. Davis. You You're welcome. Did. Robin, would you like a putter? She probably does. Oh, did it too. You get to putt. Uh oh. Into the rocks. Have you putt, 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 putted before? Yes. All right, so you're a pro? She's the leader. Emery, nice putt. Oh yeah. Maybe you should try. Uh oh, out of bounds, coming back in, go in the hole. Oh my gosh! Yes! Unbelievable! There's your champion. That was unreal. We've been going the wrong direction. You have to go get it out of the hole. You can't leave it. You go get it. Well, Davis, you me when I got here. I thought I could beat you in. There you, I know you can beat me now. The magic. See? I am the other magic <laughs> Hi, David Butler here with Elegant Island Living. I'm with Mark Love, the executive director of the McGladry Classic, and Scott Reed, the tournament director. Guys, thanks for having us today. Got a couple of questions. Tell me about the uh, the program that you're doing with the kids out here today. Thanks, David. Thanks for having us out here. And uh, yeah, you're right. We got some kids out here from the Boys and Girls Club that are part of a new program that we started um, in conjunction with the Golden Isles Leadership Foundation to bring a first T chapter to the Golden Isles. So we're in the process of of working on our chapter status. Um, wow. Davis Love Foundation is uh, the founding partner with the Golden Isles Leadership Foundation to basically bring a first tee chapter here and uh, help uh, instill the nine core values and nine healthy habits that the first tee uh, organization, uh, that's kind of their mission and uh, what they preach and we're trying to bring that to the Golden Isles. Fabulous. Tell us a little bit more, Mark. Well, um, you know, golf is, uh, is such a great sport in terms of uh, the values that you learn on the golf course, uh, honesty and integrity and uh, team, team, uh, you know, team building and um, personal responsibility. So um, this, this first tee program uh, just does a wonderful job of taking those values, um, creating a fun way for kids to, to learn to do it while at the same time learning golf. So uh, it's about learning the skills of golf, but uh, more importantly, life skills. Hey, we're excited about the McGladry this year. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, hard to believe uh, it's going to be our sixth, uh, sixth annual uh, McGladry Classic uh, a little later this year in November, uh, the week before Thanksgiving, but um, excited about uh, some new things, you know, we're going to use both golf courses this year, both Seaside and Plantation are going to be used this year for the first time. So 
we're anxious to see how the pros um, play plantation in addition to seaside. Will and, that be able to increase the field? Yeah, we're uh, so instead of 132 pros, we'll have 156. Awesome. And uh, and a bigger pro am, and um, so uh, should be. Hopefully, we'll luck out with the weather again and have another great McGladry Classic. Great. And uh, this year's dates for the McGladry Classic will be November 16 through 22. And uh, we, we just ask anybody to go to McGladryClassic.com to see all the information and keep up as we get closer to the tournament. We'll, uh, we'll have the website updated with different fun activities that might be going on throughout the week in addition to the golf tournament. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you guys and, for taking time. Yeah. We appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, David. Appreciate Thanks. it. Appreciate it. There you go. Look at this. On the green, stop, all right. You got the putter? Good shot. Hi, we're with Derek Norberg, who is the director of the Gold Miles Leadership Foundation. Derek, tell us a little bit about the program. Yeah, glad to. The, the foundation was really formed to bring the first tee here to the Gold Niles. Uh, the first tee is really a way to positively impact the kids here through the game of golf. Uh, the program builds on character traits, uh, a healthy lifestyle, but our vehicle is golf itself. Um, so we have the kids, as you see here today, out on course and uh, practicing those core values. Now let me ask you, are, are these kids that have already played golf or are you actually, you've got some kids who haven't ever played and you're introducing them to the game? Or? Well, well, the first tee itself has started to provide access for those kids that necessarily couldn't play the game uh, themselves and this mm -hmm. provided a way to you. Now it's growing to a way that it's for everybody. So some of these kids have played, but a majority of these kids out on the course today haven't touched a club before in their, in their life. Wow, it's exciting. It is. It is. Tell me, how can the kids get involved? Yeah, right now we have a, a nice partnership with the Boys and Girls Club of Southeast Georgia. So uh, the contact is really made through their organization and then f fed back to us. As we grow as an organization, we will have access to our public uh, registration as well. So for now, just Boys and Girls Club, but uh, as we grow, it'll, it'll open up to the public. Right. Well, thanks for your time. We sure appreciate it. Thank you.